Hello, my name is John Lanham. I'm Associate Dean for Partnerships at the University of the West of England in Bristol. And for Bloodhound, I am the Director of the Bloodhound at University project. Everything around us is manufactured. The clothes we wear, the food we eat, the houses we live in. Engineering is part of that and we need to be able to create solutions, we need to create products, we need to create services for people to use. We've got complex problems to solve, trying to feed the world, trying to manage our energy usage. There are problems out there we don't even know exist yet. We need bright, energetic minds who've got innovative ideas, different ways of solving the problems. I was inspired as a youngster by the American flights to the moon. I sat at school and watched a grainy black and white image of Armstrong and the others landing on the moon. That inspired me to become an engineer. Probably one of the key areas is about how do we deliver the services and the products that people want, but actually do it in a more environmentally friendly manner. I think that's posing the greatest challenge for us as engineers. Education at all levels, schools, colleges, universities, makes extensive use of case studies. Many case studies, though, are historical. What Bloodhound offers, though, is the unique opportunity to develop educational material alongside the development of the car. Bloodhound is using the challenge of building and designing a car to run at a thousand miles an hour to engage people as part of this exciting experiment. Bloodhound offered the opportunity to take real data and real information from the project and use it in university level education. No other project of this complexity has been able to share this level of detail and information. So we're actually running the education programme in tandem with the project itself. This I don't think has been done before. We often learn more from our mistakes than we do from our successes. And the open nature of Bloodhound is such that we've been able to follow the design team as they've shaped and evolved their designs. It poses some challenges, but it also creates some great opportunities to share really interesting information but also to share with the students and children at school that we may not have exactly the right answer at the moment. But as engineers, we have to progress with that uncertainty and be comfortable with that uncertainty and then refine and revise that design decision at a later stage. And engineering to me really is a case of two and two make five. Your idea, my idea, together we can solve a real problem.